Okay, um, in this video, I will show you how to create a cycle using scenes from the master page. But uh, you can use any scene that you have uh, within any fixture page within the Compu Live. Okay, so here we go. I'll click on master bar. I'll click on cycle. Just be right here in between scene and switch. Click cycle. And we'll leave it. Uh, you can change the name to whatever you want, really, but uh, we'll just leave it cycle one for now. Hit OK. And within your master page, you'll see the cycle button come up. And uh, I want to caution you that as soon as you hit cycle one, it will start recording the cycle. So as soon as you hit it, anything you hit will be recorded. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get the 3D viewer in place. Alright, as soon as you hit cycle, it's recording. Uh, so it's easy master page, we'll go back. We'll hit scene one, wait for it to load. Scene two, and scene three. And uh, hit off. Hit your cycle page. Hit stop. Or hit the record button actually. See these buttons right here. These will allow you to do certain things within the cycle feature. This will uh, allow you to change the time mode from relevant to absolute. So basically. Absolute time is, uh, it takes zero, six seconds, then four seconds later, ten seconds, nine, and twenty-five, etc. Just kind of counts down, or counts up, from uh, when you first started recording until the time you stopped. It tells you absolute time. Relevant time is just to let you know how long each scene plays for. So... And you'll notice uh, the fade in times before fade and fade out. Those can all be adjusted uh, within the page settings themselves. I just applied a fade time just on the master page. Because what you do is you, for fade times, I actually will just cover this briefly. Uh, and on your master page, right click down to scene fade toolbar. This will pop up. And any scene that you click on, you'll have the option of uh, checking the box, and you can uh, assign fed up times and hold times. These uh, these ones right here, this one right here, and this one right here are usually used for like pars or whatever. So. I don't know, there's it's still a feature that I'm still learning to to this day, so let's unclick that. So say for example you hit your scene one button, you can change the fade time. It'll fade up. You can have it wait before it fades, and then you can have it wait after the fade. So say for example we'll go one. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, but back on track now. We'll go back to cycle page. What you want to do is, uh, after you have your cycle, you can uh, <coughs> change the time of it. So, actually, double click on that or hit this button here to change the relevant time or can change the time uh, like how long it plays for and stuff like that so I'll we'll actually hit play and there should be a window that will pop up and ask if you want to save the cycle so here go back to master page hit the cycle button 
Do you want to save the cycle? Yes. And so you can see it playing back. And everything fades. And you can actually stop. And uh, from here, after, after you play your cycle back, you can stop it and adjust how long of a time you want it. So say I want this one to be 10 seconds. Adjust that. And click OK. So if you want uh, your cycle to loop in like 10 second intervals, you can do that as well. You can just adjust the time that each one plays for. So we have minutes, seconds, and like milliseconds. And for the iron IT, if you just want a straight loop, no blackout, you can just have it at just like the minimal amount that you can have, like the seconds. Okay, so we'll hit play. Ask if you want to save the cycle. Hit yes. And so you see it'll account for right as it hit 10. We'll go to the next scene. And right as it hits 20, it'll play the next scene. And since there's no time there, it's just going to go loop back to the first scene. See? So, all in all, it's pretty cool stop and everything's already saved so that's how you do cycles